What's up, Gold Crushers? What's How's everybody doing? Um, we are about ready to do our workout, but when I wanted to show you a couple of things about modifying push-ups. Uh, some of you are rock stars with push-ups, and some of you might be newer to this and have some issues. So we're going to talk about a few different kind of things, but the one thing I did want to talk about before we kind of go into to showing you how to modify a push-up is just how to use the Goal Crushers group because I've got some new people here and um, there are some that haven't posted in here lately and hopefully you all see this video but uh, certainly helps the camaraderie of the community if we're all posting in there when we're getting our workouts done and um, building each other up as we go along because we all um, want to live that healthy lifestyle and having a community of friends online is a great alternative to having to spend the time to go to the gym and have a group of people to work out within with at the gym when it's maybe inconvenient for you but it's a time when everybody else can be there this way we all work out at home when it's convenient for us and we all post into this group and pour our heart out into it and make it a great place for everybody to um, grow and thrive and live that healthy lifestyle. Alright, so I'm going to have Jeff demonstrate a couple of different things. We're going to start out by, I'm going to show you, have him show you a couple of different ways to modify a push-up and then we'll talk about a wrist issue. Okay, so I'm going to flip my screen here. Alright, so here's Jeff. He's down, going to go down and he's going to do a couple of push-ups. He'll do, do a regular push-up. All the way down, all the way up flat back, um, not, no butt up in the air, legs tight, core tight. You get maximum benefit that way because your core is tight, so you're getting more than just the, your chest. All right, so here is a couple of modifications. Number one, drop to your knees and do push-ups that way. A lot less leverage, and when I get tired, even I do that. You know, butt's still do, down, it's not. Right, butt's, yeah. It's not up. Right, so <laughs> good point. Keep the core tight that way. All right, now another modification you can do is you can do a full push-up, but only go halfway. You're on your feet, not your knees, but you're only going halfway down. Halfway down. Now, if you're just starting, you can't even do a push-up, go to plank. Go two inches down. And then back up. Right there. That's how you do And then you do that a few times, and then you can do a push-up. Because I know people that can't even do a push-up. But if you can do a plank... And go two inches, you're on your way. All right, so now, um, Jeff, show me what your wrist angle is if you're doing a push up straight off the ground. Okay, so most people have the fingers forward. Okay, you got so, that? all right, so I know people that have had wrist surgeries and it's very tweaky on their wrists to do that. So, Alternatives are push-up stands. So we've got three different kinds here. We can tell you right now that the one that he's on right now, these are Tony Horton power stands made by and sold by Beachbody. They're the best around for several reasons. Number one, they do, they're do they so wide that they can't flip on you. And number two, they don't rotate side to side. They are highly stable, very strong, and serve the purpose very well. Yeah, so you can have your knuckles out for like military style push ups where the elbows are in. Or you can switch them out. I always do like a little angle at the, for the regular push ups. Perfect. And you could even use that for Increase a burpee. Increase your range of motion. Can you do that well. for a burpee? Take them in your hand, stand up. Boom. Okay, go down. Boom. Yeah. Burpee. Not they tweaky work. on the wrist. Okay. You watch out for some push-up stands if you don't get those. These are okay. You can guide your own angle, but they they yeah uh, right. That's over easy. And you, and you want to talk see. about jacking up a wrist? That's how you jack up a wrist. Roll it like that. Not recommended. Uh, those are, those are no good. Don't get those. All right. Here's the third kind. They're fairly stable. They don't flop over, but so these rotate. The rotation, they thought it was a good idea when they made them, but for a wrist injury, not a good idea. Yeah. It's tweaky on the wrist. They'll twist the wrong direction on you and kink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, guys, that's it. We're about ready to get our workout done. We are doing uh, Body Beast Bulk Chest today. So uh, y'all have a good day, and uh, remember that this is Tom and Jeff helping you live the good life through health and fitness.